Hey everyone, today I'd like to talk about how events in C-sharp actually work. The event keyword might seem like it does a bunch of magic, but it's actually just a slight modification of the function delegate system. Function delegates are simply a way to store references to functions in a type-safe way. So to start, let's look at a simple function delegate. In this example, we have a public member variable called action1 of type action int bool. Action int bool means that this can be a reference to any function that takes two parameters, an int and a bool, and returns nothing. We can now assign functions to this variable, but as you can see here, we're using this plus equals syntax to add these functions. What's going on here? For function delegates, the plus equals and minus equals operators are overridden to call delegate.combine and delegate.remove respectively. This allows you to assign more than one function to a single action variable. If you want, you can use the regular equals operator to assign a single value to the variable, but this wipes out whatever was previously there. Finally, you can use the dot invoke method to call the functions. In this example, we know all the functions expect an int and a bool as parameters because of the type, so we pass an int and a bool to invoke. This will call all the functions assigned to action 1. In this case, it will call function 1 and function 2. Because this is a public function delegate, we can do all of these things from another class. Here we assign, invoke, and clear action 1. If multiple other classes have added functions to this variable, we've just cleared all of them out. This is where the event keyword comes in. We have another variable called event1, which is just like action1, except it has the event keyword. From within the class, it behaves in the exact same way as action1. We can add functions, invoke, and clear out event1, just like action1. But this changes when we go to another class. From another class, we can still add and remove functions to event1, but if we try to invoke the event, or assign it to something using the equals operator, we get a compile error. Even though it's a public variable, we're only allowed to add and remove functions. That's all the event keyword does. It simply removes the ability to invoke or clear the variable from outside the owning class. But this is really important for using function delegates as events. By using the event keyword, you can be sure that no one can fire the event or clear the event except the event's owner. And that's basically it. You may have seen some other ways to declare events, like using event handler or defining a named delegate type like this, but the idea is the same. You're declaring a function delegate and specifying the number and type of parameters it expects, and the event keyword simply limits the ways external classes can interact with the public variable. I've found these named delegate type declarations especially confusing, but it's really just defining a type. I prefer to use action because it's simpler, but if you want to give your function type a name to make your intention more clear, the delegate syntax can help you. I will provide a link to the code from this video in the description. If you found this video informative, consider giving it a like. Thanks for watching.